How you doing everyone? Scott back again and this time it's going to be for another album ranking so it's going to be for the definitely underrated band Sabotage. Um, I've been meaning to do this for a while but there was some albums that I was missing so I finally picked them up and I've now got them in order of which ones I like from worst to first. Um, Sabotage are a band I've always tried to champion whenever I can. I think they're really underrated and they're kind of ignored by a lot of people. But um, I do understand that some of their music is pretty hard to get into. Um, I've tried to recommend Sabotage to different people and, you know, some people just don't take them. Um, so, but I love Sabotage. And before I do this list, I do like all these albums, but some are obviously weaker than others so i'm gonna i'm gonna jump in there's 11 studio albums um so number 11 is going to be their very last release uh poets and madmen from 2001 um with this i mean it's got obviously it's good songs but i think it just lacks direction that's that's all it is um you kind of get to the point where you want it to really pick up and uh, get some speed and get those like heavy guitar riffs in and it just kind of never comes. The first couple of songs are really good and it, it's really promising um, but I just think it kind of tails off towards the end. So it is definitely for me the weakest Sabotage album. So that's um, the last release, Poets and Mad Men. Uh, next up is the album Dead Winter Dead. Now it's obviously got its good tracks on it uh, Sarajevo is a really good song, um, Mozart and Madness I really like but again it's just one of these albums that starts off strong and then you think it just kind of tails off and you, you really want it to, to pick up again but it doesn't and you, you're kind of left with these kind of um, kind of meandering, um, calm, slower songs and they almost sound, they're, they're very um, kind of piano driven and you just kind of think, you know, you kind of you can expect a bit more from Sabotage. Um, but I mean, that's not to say it's not without its its great songs. There's some really good songs in this, but it's just not a consistent album in my opinion. So that is a uh, Dead Winter Dead. Uh, next up is an album that really gets a lot of flack, and I understand why for. The time it came out, um, it took Sabotage in a bit of a different direction, a bit more of a commercial uh, direction, but it's still a very, very good album. Um, it's got a couple of covers on it, which kind of which kind of goes against it as well, but it's um, Fight for the Rock. Uh, this is 1986, and I think, now don't quote me, but I think this they, they changed... Um, record companies and they were kind of almost forced into this more commercial um sound but that's not to say it's not a good album there's some really great tracks on this um the title track that kicks off side one fight for the rock's really good crying for love's really good the edge of midnight is one of the best songs uh side two hide really good um she's only rock and roll has a really good riff in it as well so it is um it does have its redeeming moments it does have a cover of Wishing Well, um, which is actually, it's it's pretty good. It is what it is. Um, it's not terrible. So, yeah, that's coming in at number nine, Fight for the Rock. Okay, next up is from 1994, and it's Handful of Rain. So, this is the first album without uh, Chris Oliva on guitars. This is uh, Alex Skolnick from Testament. So Alex Skolnick, Skolnick left Testament and joined Sabotage. And you know, it's one of those albums you can really tell who's playing guitar. Now, I'm not one of these guys who can really pick out musicians from certain bands and, you know, say that sounds like this person. But on this album, it really does sound like Alex Skolnick on guitar. Um, some really great riffs. It's definitely not their strongest, but again, down at the bottom of this kind of list, it's hard to to pick between albums, and 
um, and you're kind of splitting hairs between these albums anyway. But yeah, Handful of Rain, really good. Got that just kind of heavy Alex Skolnick um, vibe about it. So that is a Handful of Rain. Next up is, I'll just take this out of the cover. Uh, Sabotage and The Wake of Magellan, or Magellan, however you want to say it, or however you say it. Um, this is kind of like a concept album. Um, it's kind of a few stories intertwined into one, um, but some really great tracks on this. Um, kicking off the album is The Ocean, which really just gets you gripped from the start. Um, Morning Sun's really good. Um, Complaint in the System, that's about uh, Veronica uh, Guerin, I think, um, the journalist. So, yeah, it's just, it's really, it's actually really consistent because it's that um, conceptual idea of an album. Um, it's got that kind of consistency that runs through it. So, yeah, that's uh, Sabotage the Wake of Magellan. So we're kind of getting to the, the really, really good stuff now. Um, so it was kind of tough putting these these last ones in order but coming in at number six I went with The Edge of Thorns or sorry Edge of Thorns um, where is this from 1990 I can't remember what year this is from I'm sure it's the early 90s 91 or something like that but yeah some really really strong tracks on this this is the last one to feature Chris Oliva on guitar first album to feature Zach Stevens on vocals um so you kicking off the album you've got edge of thorns which is like a like a really like anthemic start to the album um he carves a stone um conversation piece damien is a really really good track as well it's just kind of got that kind of um i don't know like a kind of sinister heavy vibe but um yeah it's it's a really really good album this is one of the first albums i actually picked up from sabotage so it kind of has that um, kind of place with me. So that's Sabotage, Edge of Thorns. Now into the top five. I'm going for um, their debut, Sirens. So this is kind of where you hear Sabotage at their, probably their heaviest and their most, their most raw. Um, I didn't include the Dungeons or Colin EP, which is kind of like a carry on from this, but I, I was only going to do the, the studio albums, but this is a really great kickoff from Sabotage. Um, I mean, even the first song, Sirens, awesome. Um, Rage, great song. Living for the Night, Out on the Streets. Um, just a really, really solid album. Obviously still finding their feet because it's their debut, um, but I, I really enjoy this. So that is um, Sirens. Uh, coming in at number four, Power of the Night. Um, in my opinion, just an awesome album. This doesn't really get the recognition I think it should get um, from fans of Sabotage. Um, but there's just some absolutely awesome, awesome songs in this. Um, while I crack it open and cause your ears to bleed. Um, kicks off with the title track Power of the Night um, Unusual, Warriors, Necrophilia um, Hard for Love, Fountain of Youth Skull Session Just a solid album um, And not one you see getting shown a lot um, By uh, Sabotage fans But it's it's really solid And these are the kind of albums that I've just got killer riffs that really, like, really drive the album So um, that's Power of the Night so into the top three, this is where I might surprise people, but uh, number three, Gutter Ballet. Now, you might be surprised when I first listened to this, I didn't, it didn't click with me. And I know it's some people's favourite album, favourite Sabotage album, but for some reason, I think it was the kind of situation I was listening to it in. Um, it was in the car and I, I probably wasn't concentrating enough on it. But the more I listened to it, the more it just grew on me and grew on me and obviously turned out to be in my top three. It's just an, an awesome album. One of those albums that I, I'm sure Sabotage fans will go back to again and again. And if I was to 
recommend Sabotage to somebody. Um, Gutter Ballet would be one of the one of the albums I would recommend because it's just awesome. It's just a, a solid nine out of ten. So that is a uh, Gutter Ballet. Top two, and about to give away my uh, top, which I'm sure probably won't be a surprise. But my second is going to be Streets, a rock opera. Um, again, one of these albums that I picked up really early from Sabotage, and it's just it's just awesome all the way through. It uh, kicks off with the title track Streets, um, really really good, kind of really like atmospheric, kind of just to kick off the album. And then it goes into this kind of we skit for like a minute and it drives into like Jesus Saves, which I think has just got a really, really great riff. It's really catchy. Um, and then you've got like a little too far. Um, Can you hear me now? Which is also like this really kind of like slowed down atmospheric kind of song. Uh, Ghost in the Ruins is one of the best songs on the album. Um, yeah, so that's uh, Streets, a rock opera, just awesome and one I'd love to get on vinyl but uh, not much chance of that happening anytime soon but yeah check it out if you've not streets and obviously my top of the pile is going to be Hall of the Mountain King kind of kind of seen as their their masterpiece if you like um, it's just absolutely awesome I'm going to make your ears bleed again So here we go in its full glory. Um, so songs like 24 Hours Ago, which kicks off the album, they've kind of got this kind of pattern where they've just got this superb song that just grabs you as, as, soon, as, you put, as soon as you put the album on. Um, Beyond the Doors of Dark, Strange Wings, awesome song. Um, the title track, Hall of the Mountain King, great. It's just um, White Witch. I mean, it, it is a masterpiece of an album. It's a perfect album. So it's probably no surprise that it's at my number one. Um, and I'm sure you guys who are watching this, um, you probably feel the same. It's it's well and truly up there with some of the best heavy metal, power metal from the 80s. So that's my number one. Hall of the Mountain King has to be. So that is my ranking. Um, let me know what you think. I'm sure my ranking isn't going to be the same as yours so i'd love to maybe know your top five or top three whatever um and you can tell me how wrong i am if you like in the comments so let me know what you think and i'll see you guys very soon cheers <laughs>